I bet you didn't know all that about Joseph Campo. I'm just waiting for the streetcar. I'll let you get back to that then. But don't forget to vote tomorrow. Good day. Good morning, neighbor. I don't speak English. Do you speak English? I don't understand what you are saying. I'm sorry, I don't understand you. <laughs> I understood that. Hello, folks! Have you heard about this proposal we'll be voting on tomorrow? About Hamtramck Township incorporating as a city? No. It's been in the newspapers. We don't read the papers. Don't trust them. Fake news. Oh, well, the plan is to become our own city so we have more control over our destiny. We don't care about this. I'm just trying to feed my family. Can I give you one reason to care? You can give it, but I can't promise I'm going to care. My great-great-grandmother was Colonel Hamtramck's nurse back in 1803, and that American hero told her that his biggest fear was that after he died, no one would remember his name. Hamtramck was a person. Oh, I thought it was a pickle. If he's dead, why would he care if he's not remembered? How would he even know? I would know. Where's that music coming from? I, I think this boy's about to sing. My friends, we stand at a crossroads with an opportunity to pay tribute with a new city to a great man in our history, a hero of the revolution. George Washington gave him praise. The first to raise the American flag or the straits in the early days. Talking about Amtramic. John Francis Hamtramck He did his patriotic duty and he did not panic By excelling in the military He became a useful and pleasant member of society Seems everyone mourns his passing were the words of Joseph Campo an epitaph any man would want. Who the hell is Joseph Campo? Joseph Campo had a farm that stretched down to the river a long, long time ago, a long, long time ago, a long, long time ago, and then Detroit began to grow and grow. And Will grow. be an island in the sea of Detroit City, a place where greatness will begin. One day we'll have my boss, then anywhere in Michigan. I predict we'll one day win a Little League World Series. Maybe have a festival that celebrates strawberries. Be the home of a romantic who will make you rock. Poonchki hummus and samosa all within one block. Hey! I don't really understand what you are saying, but the sentiment seems to be one of hope. So as you say, oh, how I pray, we'll be visited by a Polish Pope. And all of this can be if you just join with me. This future we all see can be reality. I expected it to be bigger. Oh, that was fun. I think I love him, Dravik. Let us name our city for this man. I don't understand what's going on. So you'll vote yes? Wait, there's another step to this? Well, that sounds like a lot of trouble. Never mind then. Hey, did you guys hear? Detroit is trying to take us over. Oh no, like back in the old country? This is bullshit. I don't understand what's going on. Unless we vote to create our own city, that's what they're going to do so they can tax us. Oh, More taxes. taxes? No new taxes. Oh, that you understand. We gotta make ourselves a city. Let's, let's vote, vote yes. yes. Let's, let's, let's vote yes. 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 Let's, let's, let's vote, vote yes. yes. Let's vote yes. Well, the end justifies the means, I guess.